I'm so excited to show you my January flip through and my February bullet journal setup. Because I have been so busy with other things lately, I didn't have the time to edit and upload this sooner. Hopefully it's not too late and you still get something useful out of this. The first thing new that I am trying is to incorporate watercolour to my setup. I wanted a page where there is a pop of colour, but I didn't want to have it on every page. So I decided to have one page with a little watercolour illustration. This month's theme is swans. Because February is the month of love and I didn't want to use obvious themes like hearts or roses. So I chose something that I think is as pure as love and other than unicorns, I figured swans with snow white feathers are the next best thing. In this picture, I've simply drawn a swan afloat the water with very white feathers and a green background. This is the only fully coloured illustration and I didn't want the colours to only be white or pink. So I chose some colours that can convey some calmness but still stand up nicely. For the cover page, I hand lettered the word February and drew a swan sitting atop. I drew some lotus flowers around it because in Chinese culture, lotus is a symbol of purity and that is exactly what I wanted to portray here. For my next page, I glued my watercolour illustration at the top and proceeded to draw out my calendar of February with a little more spacing than normal. I believe each alphabet or number is sitting in the centre of 9 dots. I wanted to have a quote somewhere in my setup and this page is as good as any. While I have no idea where this quote came from, I sincerely believed in it and I wanted it to accompany me through February. Next comes my month at a glance and I hand lettered the month again and drew squares 6x6 with one grid separating each square. I drew shadows for each box and illustrated the spread with another swan with some light pink accents. I also wrote the dates in the middle of every box using a very light grey tombow brush pen. for my setup due to my utter failure to keep track of everyone's birthday in January. I wrote the title in simple spaced alphabets and drew a line on the left hand side straight down, writing the dates right beside it, leaving space for me to fill in the names of anyone who has their birthdays in February. <laughs> My gold spread feature a river with two swans swimming in it, with an arrow above indicating my progress for the month. with no rhyme or reason to it at all. It is just there so I can write where I spent my money on, but not for accuracy or actual tracking. titles but it is not as clear as I liked it to be so I figured that I wouldn't use this method for my next months.
my life due to the number of subscriptions I have and the online shopping I do. I didn't feel like hand lettering so I drew block letters instead and it turned out great. I decided to go with obscurity by hiding my son behind water plants for my illustration. part of my life when I was younger and I wanted to pick it up again so I drew a bookshelf and drew a swan sitting on top wearing glasses. I plan to fill this shelf with books by the end of this month but we all know how life usually gets in the way but I can hope and try my best. Last month's mood tracker was a hot air balloon that turned out great at the end of the month due to the colours so I decided to use the wings of a swan sectioning them off so I can fill each wing with a colour that matches my mood for the day. The flowers below has a nice touch and I thoroughly enjoyed the effect they had on the picture as a whole. Next spread will be my daily trackers and it is pretty standard. I wrote the dates on the top axis and the things I wanted to track on the side. I skipped the next page and went on to create my sleeping lock instead. I have been sleeping later and later and I wanted to adjust my body clock back to an earlier time. So I decided I needed a sleep lock. Again, I wrote the dates on the left axis but wrote timings starting from 11.30 to 10.30 with 1 hour intervals with um, two dots each. Following that, I created a really simple page to dump all my YouTube video ideas before going back two pages to finish my illustration. I drew some swans in a pond surrounded by some rocks with a hut on the side and green grass everywhere. I wasn't too satisfied with this page but I let it go for now. I separated the pages horizontally, then drew swan wings to house the date numbers. And this is it! If you like this bullet journal setup, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified whenever more bullet journal videos are up, don't hesitate to click on the bell. Bye!